In April of 1912, the RMS Titanic sank in the North Atlantic on its maiden voyage after hitting an iceberg, killing more than 1,500 people, many of whom were among the most wealthy and powerful of the period. It was a tragedy that seemed almost unimaginable, shaking popular faith in the marvelous and new technologies of the early 20th century. In observance of the 100th anniversary of the disaster, the Fox Theater organized a recreation of the last meal served in the Titanic's first-class dining room. The proceeds would go to the Fox Charitable Performing Arts Foundation, which promotes the performing arts, particularly among young people. It was an evening that transported guests to another age. It's a commemoration, it's not a celebration. We're really commemorating that event, but the heroism and the courage and the self-sacrifice of the passengers and crew. And it's just to remember them. And it's been a fascination for the world for a hundred years. But let's step back in history. It was such a different era. First of all, it was a complete age of optimism and hope. And the Titanic itself was the biggest and the most luxurious ship that was ever built. Putting together a meal like this is in itself a task of, well, titanic proportions. All right, so you put this stuff together. Is anybody paying attention? You guys are going to be doing this. Yes, sir. Yes. The meal's 11 courses. We're feeding 320 people. We started prepping about eh, almost a week ago. I have 15 on my staff, and we have another 27 cooks coming from La Cole Culinaire. We're doing everything from oysters, salmon, lamb, roast beef, duck, uh, four different desserts, fruit and cheese, asparagus salad, and runs the gamut. Back to the Fox. When guests, most of whom are decked out in vintage clothing, first arrive, they receive a boarding pass, along with a brief biography of a real first-class passenger on the Titanic. This could almost be 1912. And it's hard to resist the feeling that somehow you've just wandered into an episode of Downton Abbey. We will have actors being the luminaries on the ship and they will get up and talk about their lives, life aboard the Titanic, the life aboard the era. That would be like Molly Brown and Captain Smith, and John Jacob Astor and Benjamin Guggenheim. Good evening, you Ms. Strauss. My name is Thomas Andrews, Managing Director of Harlan and Wolf and Shipbuilder of the Titanic. So nice to meet you. And may I introduce J. Bruce Ismay, Chairman of the White Star Line. Captain Edward John Smith, or someone quite similar, made himself available to the press. So this is, in all my experience, the safest ship that has ever been constructed by man. I cannot imagine any condition which would cause this ship to founder. None whatsoever. The evening's youngest guest, Patrick Kissel, though only eight years old, has read several books on the Titanic and has developed some expertise on the subject. There weren't enough lifeboats for everybody on the ship because of the regulation, because of the laws. They um, they didn't have a law for a ship that big, so they just went with the law for the biggest ship. While guests hobnobbed in the lobby, a small army of servers made last-minute preparations on the stage of the Fox. You come up the stairs. There's going to be a couple bussers. They're going to be on each side of these stairs to catch you if you fall. Good. Actually, you're just going to catch the food. If you fall, the hell with you. But you're <laughs> going to make sure we don't ruin any food. We've got over 4,000 plates, over uh, 1,100 pieces of silverware here. There's 11 courses being served, 10 different wines. We have two servers per table, so we have about three. We, it's almost a man-to-man -man dinner because we have about one person working for every person eating. So we have wine steward for a table. You have a front server. You have a back. You have a back server, and you have a bus person. So it's a very formal, regimented style of service. And everything has to be perfect. Everything has to be perfect. <laughs> yes. Yeah. the stage after the fifth course and we go back out in the lobby 
for Roman punch, which was to cleanse your palate and just let them reset the stage and take a break. Uh, then we go back and we have, you know, um, six more courses. <laughs> so they loved to eat at that era. I don't know. I mean, we couldn't eat that much. It was an evening that combined appreciation of the good things in life with respect for those who had lost their lives so tragically and unexpectedly. I'd like to take a moment of silence to remember the passenger and crew of the RMS Titanic. It was an elaborate visit to the past by tourists in time, hoping to somehow experience history by recreating it as best they could.